What's going on guys? I want to do a little update for you here. Basically, I am almost um, three and a half months out. And so far I've lost 60 pounds. I'll pop a picture up here on the screen. Like I said, it's very weird for me because this is not for vanity. Um, I said it in a couple videos before. It's basically for me to be here for my kids or my kid now and maybe kids later, maybe extra ones, who knows. Uh, but basically this is for me to be here for a longer life for him, to protect him, to bring him up in the right way as I see fit and all that stuff. That's the reason why I did the surgery and I'm very happy that I did it. Um, like I said, I'll pop a picture up here or whatever so you can see uh, you know, what I used to look like before what I, versus what I look like now. I don't think you can really tell um, all that much in regular clothes. If I'm wearing something a little tighter, maybe. But anyway, I'm not much for tight clothes, I'll be honest with you. I've been very uh, used to wearing baggy stuff, and I like to wear baggy things. Not necessarily like crazy baggy, but not skin tight either, not spandex. Um, but anyway, I just want to do an update and let y'all know that everything is going great. Uh, 60 pounds down, which is amazing. I would do the surgery over and over again if I knew this was going to be the results and I knew that this is what was going to happen and what was going to change my life for the future. I but to do your research, find the best uh, the best guy in your area basically or there's a lot of people who go to Mexico. I never considered going to Mexico. There's no way I would do that to do this. Uh, but some people do. Hey, you know, do what you know, do you. Um, I found a person right here in Blunt County, Tennessee, Dr. Ray. He's an awesome doctor. Did a great, great surgery. I had no problems. Have very little scarring at all, if any. Um, so I had a pleasant experience except for like the four days after that I had crazy gas. But that's not his fault. Um, yeah, it just is what it is. As far as what I'm eating, um, it was mainly, you know, we did, we did uh, liquids for two weeks after it. And then two weeks after that, we did soft foods, which was basically for me, beans and eggs scrambled eggs and refried beans a little bit of cheese um that was it and i was afraid to eat anything else I, well and protein shakes uh already pre-made ones like you know premier protein and stuff i was afraid to eat anything more than that because i did not want to you know pop my stitches i didn't want to ruin what i was going through i just didn't want to take that chance uh now uh two weeks out after that so that would be a month later, like after a month, you can actually have soft meats, which were me, for me, they were everything. Uh, I had chicken, I had hamburger, I had pork, I had, I don't think I've had fish. Yeah, I had fish. I had like Captain D's. I don't know if that counts as fish or not. Uh, kind of pulled the pulled the stuff off of it because I was wanting just to have the actual fish itself, the protein. Uh, I am really trying to do low carb. Uh, so far, it seems to be working for me. Had a lot of a lot of experience doing low carb before, so it was it wasn't like it was a, a big difference for me. Um, but yeah, low carb is the way to go, in my opinion, if you're going to keep doing this because you don't want to introduce carbs or sugar back into your life because that's what got you that size in the first place, right? So, in my opinion, you should stick to low carb. That's what they tell me to do, so I think that's probably what they tell everybody to do. Um, in the first couple months, it flies off flies off in the first couple months like i was literally down 50 pounds in in a month almost and then this last month i was out i lost 10 more pounds so now i'm down to 60. um i'm not quite three months out yet i think i, I might have misspoke in the beginning i am about two and a half months right now so let's see september october yeah two and a half months because november right now uh i would do it again right now like i said i'm just doing low carb everything um I will, the one, the biggest thing about it that I hate about the surgery, and it's probably more my fault because I probably, I don't get as much water as I should, and I know you're supposed to drink 64 ounces a day. It's just very hard for me to do. Now, since I've had this problem, I have since been drinking a lot more water, but the constipation is absolutely real. If you do not drink enough water, you will get constipated, especially if you're doing protein and a lot of protein a lot of protein with not a lot of water equals constipation and i'm telling you it sucks um what i have started doing is i started drinking more water and i've started taking a scoop a stool softener uh every day when i take so but prior to this i was diagnosed with a factor five which is basically a blood clotting disorder 
And I'm also a truck driver, so that is probably not good for both of those things. So I, I take an Eloquist twice a day. And uh, But prior to that, though, I, after losing the 50 pounds into 60 now, I've came off all my other medicines. So that's awesome. No high blood pressure medicine, no uh, or Maprazole, none of that stuff. So I'm just on the Eloquist now. I think eventually I'll come off of that too. But me being a truck driver is questionable. But what I was going to say was every time I take an Eloquist, I take a stool softener. So I take it twice a day. So I take a stool softener twice a day because I do not want the constipation. It is absolutely awful. So that's my opinion. That's what you should look out for. Definitely don't, uh, definitely drink as much water as you possibly can. And also take a stool softener. Just trust me, take a stool softener. Um, other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I basically uh, just want to give you all a little update. 60 pounds down, feeling great. And would do it again and again and again. So until next time, guys, we'll see you all in a little bit.